Hello from Patrick Cunningham. Today I will show you a brief demonstration on how to do a final glazing technique on a large painting of an Arkansas waterfall. Let's get closer and look at the painting. Yeah, and look at the, let's go over here and look at the palette using uh, burnt umber, burnt sienna, Naples yellow, raw sienna, emerald green, Payne's gray, cobalt blue, cerulean blue, and opaque white, which is titanium white, and a really nice translucent zinc white. Here is my oil glaze I mixed up. Now, uh, you can make different glazes. Sometimes I like to use Damar resin with a little linseed oil, and you can adjust it to uh, affect your drying time and your viscosity. A really nice uh, old master glaze is Venetian turpentine four parts with uh, linseed oil one part. Gives it a really nice translucent glazing effect. So, let's go over here and do a little technique. See, first I'll put on some clear glaze. Get to cover the area I like to do. Here we go. Now let's brush in some shadows. even use your finger get some shadows in there what's really nice is you do this rag technique look at it gives it nice texture on those rocks makes like little nooks and crannies texture you can enhance shadows do a glaze and bring out highlights gives it a really nice technique. You can even take a little sea sponge and nail those little rocks to give it a really cool texture. Well, that's all today. Hey, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye.